Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. Welcome. I'm Renee Camper, the Deputy Chief over North Command in the Patrol Bureau. Uh, I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for being here today for the grand opening of the Fort Worth Police Department's new North Patrol Division facility. I'd like to now introduce the Fort Worth Police Department's chaplain, Dean Nichols, for the invocation. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you with thanksgiving and praise as you tell us to. Lord, we thank you for your watch care over us and, Father, your blessings unto us. Father, we're gathered here, uh, Lord, this morning to dedicate a building, a building that will be used to serve this community. Oh, Father, how appropriate that it would be built across from a house of worship and this a house of service. Heavenly Father, we just ask that your hand of blessing would be upon the men and women who work out of this building, that Father, as they understand that they are your ministers of justice, Father, that you are to serve, that they are to serve this community, and Father, to enforce the laws, Lord, with kindness, compassion, but nevertheless, Lord, the laws will be enforced. And Father, we just ask for your divine protection over this house of service and over this community. Father, you've also told us in your word that unless you watch over the city, the policeman works but in vain. And so, Father, it is our prayer that you would watch over this community as only you could do. Father, we thank you for the foresight of the men and women who saw fit to build this building and we ask your blessings upon them as well. Bless this service, Father, as we continue to dedicate a building that will be used by your ministers of justice. For it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Nichols. Now, if everyone would rise and face the flag, we'll uh, have our Fort Worth Honor Guard and the presentation of colors. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly he hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? His broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner 
Spanier wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Captain Elgin. That was beautiful. Now you may all be seated and the Pop and Drum Corps is gonna play for us. Thank you guys, that was spectacular as usual. Could we have another round of applause for them? Okay, today we formally celebrate the grand opening of the new patrol facility here to serve the communities and businesses of North Fort Worth. First, however, we have a number of people in attendance today that I would like to recognize. First, we have the city manager, David Cook, City Council members, including Carrie Moon, 
Dennis Shingleton, Carlos Flores. We have assistant city managers, Valerie Washington, Jay Chapa, Susan Alanis, Fort Worth Police Chief Joel Fitzgerald. We have Fort Worth Assistant Chief Charlie Ramirez. Acting Assistant Chief Ty Hatzel. We also have in attendance Tarrant County Sheriff Bill Weyburn. His assistant, Craig Driscoll. Okay, let me see. The facility design and build team, including Kevin Drake. Where are you, Kevin? Michael Lineball. John Crossley. And others with FPI Builders. Kevin Pointus and the other GFF architect staff. Code Blue volunteers, representatives of the area neighborhood associations and others in the community. And finally, the many other city staff that has worked hard on this project to organize this event. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to ask Council Member Moon to come to the podium. Howdy. Hey. Welcome to the far north. <laughs> to our uh, city staff, my fellow council members, uh, many neighborhood leaders, uh, members of the press, and uh, Fort Worth's finest, we, are, uh, we welcome you with open arms and uh, thank you for all you do to serve our, our community. Uh, at my feet is a cinder block holding the podium for against the wind. I don't know if I've got an extra cinder block. I'll just keep both hands on my notes here in case I, in case I have to go uh, chasing my notes. Uh, I was glad to see uh, Chief Fitzgerald here not wearing his Villanova hat. He's had a, he's got his sweater. He's got, a, he's had a pretty good run. He's had uh, two championships with Villanova, his Philadelphia Eagles, and then uh, now Fort Worth uh, Six Patrol Division. <laughs> this project is a huge step for Fort Worth. The funding of this project came from our Crime Control Prevention uh, District. As a city of Fort Worth, you as a public vote to fund a half of your sales tax penny, a half a penny of the sales tax we receive to our CCPD, and that money was used to fund this district. This facility creates a permanent police presence to serve local businesses and residents in the many surrounding neighborhoods and other nearby communities. Because of this facility, we will see more police in our area, approximately 140 patrol officers, detectives, and neighborhood police officers will use this facility on a daily basis. <laughs> Response times had been a little high in North Fort Worth, and this facility will help to reduce those times. Having a city-owned police facility accessible to us to visit when needed, as well as accessible to the community needs with its community room, is a huge milestone for our area. This facility will also serve as a command center for new and active citizen patrol volunteers. Local residents have been extremely supportive leaders of this project. And I want to thank the community leaders and members of the Mini Neighborhood Association and Code Blue volunteers have dedicated time to make this facility a reality. Please accept our thanks for your involvement, participation, and support. Thank you. This new station will also serve as a home to its very own revolving art display, which will, which will provide family events and art activities that are inspired by the rotating art pieces. Our first art piece is a painting by Jim Woodson called Resolved Coalescing Continuum. This painting is a part of the Fort Worth Police Public Art Community Legacy Collection and will be on display at the North Patrol Division for two years as the first in a new initiative that will bring different artworks to the station for the community to enjoy. We think it's pretty clear that this facility will be far more than just another police station, and we want to specifically thank the Fort Worth PD, 
officers, civilians, city staff, GFF architects, and FBI builders for their instrumental work in making this project happen. The architects have a great deal of experience designing police facilities, and I believe this facility is top notch for Fort Worth. In the event a Cat 5 hurricane comes through north, the far north, y'all come here, okay? We look forward to the new, many new components the new police station will bring for our growing north. Officers, thank you for your service to our community and welcome to your new home. With that, there you go. Told you I was going to lose one. With that, I'd like to uh, introduce, uh, we've got two. I've got two great council members here that, that my district's boundaries share their boundaries. And you can always be proud of how your government officials work together to serve you. And the first uh, person to introduce uh, is Councilman Dennis Shingleton. He's absolutely right about the wind today. What a great crowd. The chaplain said something to me, but with a crowd this big, we can't pass off the opportunity. So with those ushers with the baskets, please come forward. We're going we're gonna to pay for this building pretty damn quick, I'll tell you that. I want to tell you that this is the perfect template for a division headquarters, this building. And we're going to use this template to uh, build other division headquarters like this throughout the city. This, is, this is, it will work perfectly. Uh, Kerry has uh, outlined what it does for the neighborhoods. I'm not going to do that. They said uh, the comments was the direction to put in there a few comments about what this does for your neighborhood. It's more important to me right now that I cover just a little bit of history on how we got here. What, how we, we selected this site. Why did we do this? Why did we do that? This started back about two, the end, latter part of 2011-2012 and we had some meetings. Uh, we had some meetings with Danny Scarth was the uh, uh, District 4 uh, council guy at that time. And uh, we had some very earnest discussions here, and we couldn't have, have done it without Scarth, but we couldn't have done it without guys like Mike Berry and Russell Lachlan that, uh, that put together the team that said, we're gonna find a way to get this done. We're going to find a way to get it done. We're not, we don't know about financing yet. Let's just find a location. So we hammered that out. And uh, then Chief uh, uh, G uh, Halstead uh, put together with uh, Danny Garcia, who was the assistant chief. And there was a, uh, a civilian, uh, civilian. well, he was a, a, a staff worker, Joe Commissars, that uh, David Cooks taxied over from budget to uh, help the police out. And uh, that, in fact, kicked off the financing aspects of this. I have notes that date back to uh, meetings in February 2012, and we were discussing exactly how, how this was going to lay out, how the proximity, one mile to the interstates, all that sort of thing that, that the police and, and the experts put together. Scarth and I just listened and added the political uh, uh, butt kicking to get it down the road here a little bit I guess but everybody had input into the location and the financing partnerships and what was key and integral to all that discussion was Hillwood Company and, and the Perot family and early on so I want to thank them for that uh, this uh, I, I'm looking at the uh, attendance list here the agenda for a meeting that uh, that uh, Mike Berry uh, handed to us back in, uh, this was in August of 2014, but it had a whole agenda with police division understanding and expanded uh, partnership facilities. Early on, the county was going to put a few uh, uh, offices in here and well, we kind of worked through that and, uh, and other things. But this has, as Terry, Kerry said, tremendous meeting space, tremendous public interaction space, tremendous places where you and your groups can meet and most importantly there's a police presence in this community north of 820 a, a home a, a, a barracks if you will I use that term too often I guess but the creativity where there was there was uh, some uh, the financial creativity early on there was a discussion about using the TIF money uh, certificates of obligation all sorts of things but we finally had enough money with the help of David Cook and his staff, 
to, to use CCPD money, and that by far is the best money. So don't be generous when I pass that basket here in a minute or so. Uh, the size of this building, it started out with, at 20,000 square feet. Now it's over 40, and uh, we've got space here, not only space to expand, but parking and, and uh, a vista and uh, training areas, things like that. This, is, this building has great forethought and utility. Uh, I, we have some early drawings I, I, from uh, Bennett and th those guys that I pulled in early just to give us a kind of a sketchy type of thing. But uh, this process, and we, during the process, we not only had uh, the, the, the experts pull it together, but we had uh, Code Blue and neighborhood associations come together. Uh, Rusty and his crew out there at uh, North Fort Worth Alliance, Code Blue members, all of those people came together, gave us some input, gave us some. Hey, we're gonna. We'd like to see this. We'd want to see that. It it it, it was a, a real joint effort, and that in itself makes Fort Worth what it is. So thank you very much for having me today to uh, recognize a couple of guys, but. The, uh, one guy that, uh, that's not here that I do want to recognize was Danny Scarth, and he was uh, tremendous in, in the early uh, discussions on this building and the early impetus to kick that can down the road. So thanks very much for having us. Enjoy this breezy day. Notice that my hair is not blowing around, <laughs> as some of you are. Thanks very much. Councilman Flores. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I hope that everyone is feeling as excited as I am, as my council colleagues are, as the police are, and everyone who is here in attendance, because this is a very special day. Indeed, it is. You know, in ancient times, before setting off on a journey, you had your ship ready and rigged, and you set your sails and you waited for the wind. Well, I think today, needless to say, we have plenty of wind. And that wind is captured by our sails, so as we set off on this journey for the new North Patrol Division, it leaves for us something in our minds that we can look forward to. Lots of great things from our police department. And the expected level of service and dedication that our police want to deliver to all of us as citizens of Fort Worth. So let me say some points that I think have already been covered uh, by the previous speakers, but I think bear uh, worth noting again. This new 23,000 square foot facility will serve some primary needs and will offer the following. It will serve as a headquarters for the North Division commander, captains, lieutenants, sergeants, detectives, officers, civilian staff, etc., who will be here to serve us. It will enhance public safety, which is extremely important to myself and to the City Council. It will eventually reduce response times, which is an ongoing challenge for our growing city, and provide that presence that I spoke of. Community partnerships are also very important. It's been said already that citizens alike and citizens on patrol were very integral in making this day happen, in making this facility behind me exist. So all that bears noting. So in closing, I want to thank on behalf of my council colleagues, Mayor Price, City Manager David Cook, Jay Chapa, Assistant City Managers, uh, let's see, where are they? I'm looking for them, Susan Annalise. Uh, I saw Valerie Washington earlier. Uh, there were several that could not be here, and I'm sure that they would want to be, but they're busy at work for us. Uh, Commander Neil Noakes. Uh, you have Deputy Chief Camper, who's here. You have Chief Fitzgerald. Sheriff Rayborn, thank you for being here. CCPD staff, which I said hi to earlier, thank you for making this possible. The Code Blue volunteers that I already mentioned. And of course, the FPI general contractors, GFF architects, and their design group. Fort Worth Public Art, I thought I saw Martha Peters somewhere in the back. Thank you, Martha, for beautifying this facility for us. And everyone else who made it possible, thank you for the bottom of my heart. So let's set sail and set a great course for this new North Patrol Division. Thank you.
Next, we have Valerie Washington. Good morning, and thanks for being here with us today. So it's great being here in Fort Worth. We have such a vibrant community. We've talked in the city about our economic development plan. We've talked about connecting with communities and neighborhoods. And that really brings us here today to economic development, community. Um, we live in, or we work in a city where police officers are comfortable being vocal. Um, they express concerns about not being able to respond to citizens in this area. We also live in a community where citizens are vocal um, and that's a healthy sign that citizens let us know that they wanted a better level of service from the police department. So back in 2016, the mayor and council were responsive to those concerns and, and heard everyone out here when they purchased their former ranch land um, that really got us here today. Um, I do wanna say before I go on, I wanna thank property management, Steve Cook and Glenn Baylog. They were huge in getting us here and working with the police department and making sure that the design was gonna meet the standards for the police department and the community. Um, so I appreciate that. But I really am here to introduce Chief Joel Fitzgerald. When we hired him, it was very important that he focus on community policing. Um, and that's where his heart is. He wants to focus on the community. He wants to be a part of the community. And so I want to introduce Chief Joel Fitzgerald so he can talk about this facility um, and how it fits in with his strategic mission and better connections between the community and the police department. Chief. Thank you, Ms. Washington. Uh, what a wonderful day for the opening of our newest facility. I couldn't ask for better. We have our citizens, our volunteers, people that, you know, really pushed this project forward. I'm sorry, thank you. People that really pushed this project forward and uh, the folks that go unseen. Uh, where's Becky McGibson and our finance staff? We mentioned Glenn Baylog and we mentioned Steve Cook, but let's mention our, our city police department finance staff that work behind the scenes to make this happen. Can we give them a round of applause as well? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, there's also a couple other things. I know we didn't mention our TCU Assistant Chief Robert Rangel is here. Robert, <laughs> welcome. Uh, and, and let me say this, perhaps our oldest person in attendance today is here and I, it's her birthday. So Miss Aola Elgin is here. Uh, she is the mother of Captain Elgin who sang our national anthem today. So Miss Elgin, thank you and happy 89th birthday. Yes, yes ma'am. This opening truly means a lot to so many and it, it transcends uh, where we live. It transcends uh, really everything else going on in the city right now. Uh, we understand that uh, north of 820 years ago, how many police cars did we have work in this area? Does anybody know? Two. two. Absolutely. <laughs> so we've gone from two to over 100 people that will be working in this area now. <laughs> we also have our sheriff here, and I, and I will tell you, Sheriff, that our doors are open. I know you have staff working in this area, and it would only serve us even more and serve the citizens here in this part of the county to know that your sheriffs have a place that they can, I'm sorry, your deputies, excuse me, have a place that they can come as well and process paper, or do the things that they need to do. So our doors are open to them as well. Uh, for the reasons that I've mentioned and more, this is such an important opportunity for the city of Fort Worth to position ourselves well, in particular this police department, for the expansion and the growth that's going on here in North Division. We, uh, we really took a good hard look at the operational needs that we have here and the needs of the community have been things that we we've listened to I, all of our code blue staff knows how you know dedicated we've been towards listening and, in, and incorporating some of the things that they talked about that we need in this facility to make it work for north division so i thank you for your support i thank you for for pushing you know back in 2011 up until the time i got here you talked to me about making sure that this uh, was actually a reality and I know that your support, as well as those from our city management staff and our city council people, made this project a reality. Uh, you deserve the type of coverage that we're going to provide in this area. And uh, with the staff I have in place, with Neil Noakes and uh, Captain Elgin, you're really looking at a, a great and bright future out here as far as policing is concerned. So the facility actually purchasing it and outfitting it is you know just one step in the right direction now 
we need to use it. We need to make sure our citizens come in and use the public areas that we have. Uh, have your meetings there. Let's expand the level of community policing work we do here. Our Code Blue and COPS volunteers. This will be a base of operations for you. Get out there, and, and I challenge my folks as well to ensure that we you know, engage citizens to the point where we get so many volunteers that we have meetings here every day. I want to ensure that this facility is used not only for the police officers that are going to work here and out of this location every day, but our volunteers that come in and really want to see uh, this area stay as safe as it's been. As it's been. Uh, you will do a lot to drive what happens in North Division. This building is an anchor. Now let's make sure that we make the proper use of it to you know, keep ourselves at a point where you've enjoyed a, a certain level of confidence in the crime that goes on in this area. You know that things of uh, expansion of the city and growth in the city brings a certain degree of criminal activity. But just by the showing today, the level of dedication that we have up in North Division uh, gives us a bright outlook. More so than just having a building, we have a great volunteer base that will ensure that we are well positioned to handle whatever comes with the gro growth and urban sprawl we see in this city. So again, thank you to our volunteers. Thank you to the community members that made this uh, a reality. Thank you to our city council folks, our city management, and our city staff that work diligently on this. Um, a year ago today, we talked about groundbreaking, and we, and we really said we get this up in a hurry. We did it, and it happened because of you. It didn't happen because I pushed or anyone else pushed but you. So we promise that this investment in our community will go a long way to determine how happy you are and how safe you feel in the city of Fort Worth. Thank you. I'll introduce to you the person that I affectionately call King of the North, <laughs> Commander Neil Noakes. I hope that everyone here realizes that as of today, we're all connected in some way. We're all now part of the history of this facility. By being here today to show your commitment, not only to making this facility what's it, what it's intended to be, but by being here to show your commitment to this partnership, this community policing partnership between the Fort Worth Police Department, your elected leaders, our business leaders, and our communities, we're all part of the legacy that this building will leave one day. We're all part of the story now. The most exciting thing about the story is that it has not yet been written. From today forward, we determine what the story is. We determine what our own legacy will be. And I can tell you right now, we will do it together. About a month ago, I was at the retirement celebration for retiring Fort Worth Fire Department Chief, uh, Rudy Jackson. There were a lot of great speakers there. Some of those speakers are here today. Uh, one of the speakers was former Fort Worth Mayor Mike Moncrief. And in his speech, he said something. And as soon as he said it, I said, you know, I'm going to steal that one day. And I'm going to use that in a speech myself. Today's that day. <laughs> I thought it was so good, I wrote it down in the back of the program so I wouldn't forget it. And speaking about how amazing Fort Worth is, how unique Fort Worth is, uh, Mr. Moncrief explained it this way. He said, the people who live here define Fort Worth. The people who live here define Fort Worth. I'm going to expand on that a little bit. I say the people who live here define North Fort Worth. And please understand, I, Fort Worth is one big family. We're all part of the Fort Worth family. But after serving a city and its citizens for 18 years, I've noticed that every side of town brings, brings its own flavor to Fort Worth. And it's that diversity that makes this city so amazing. So again, the people who live here define North Fort Worth. The people who work here define North Fort Worth. Our business leaders, our educators, our healthcare workers, our volunteers. And we are extremely excited today to officially say the Fort Worth Police Department lives here too. And we're proud that we're going to be able to be a part of helping you define our North Fort Worth. So thank you for that opportunity. A couple of things about this building. Thank you. We're talking about the future, but something I thought 
It was really interesting about the design of this building. Uh, GFF did really well with the construction as they looked at our past, our history. If you notice, this is only part of the facility. It's much larger, but it's based on what you might see in the stockyards or at the stock show, our traditional Western heritage. Something I'm extremely excited about is on the inside, we have a very open concept. This building is a one-stop shop. Instead of having multiple facilities throughout North Division, where you go one place for one service and another place for another service, Every service you need in North Division is right here in this facility. And it's a very open concept that uh, fosters communication between everybody in the building. And we're very excited about that. We can't wait to show you some, the tour afterwards. But what I, what I hope you will remember, as amazing as this facility is, the facility can't do the work on its own. My father's a, a Baptist preacher. And I remember hearing from when I was a kid, the building is not the church. Pastor, what is the church? It's the people. The same thing is true with this facility, as amazing as it is, and it is absolutely amazing. We have to make sure this building turns out to be what it was intended to be. So what, what will our legacy be? I don't know. None of us do, that hasn't been written yet. But that is up to us to decide. That legacy is up to us to define. And as I said before, we will absolutely do it together. And I thank you for that. Thank you very much. Next, I want to introduce three gentlemen. Without these gentlemen, we would not be here today. They did a lot of work behind the scenes to make this happen starting about a decade ago. They put a lot of time into this. And actually, we're going to have a young lady step up here with us, too, if she will. These three gentlemen, we have the president of the Summerfields Neighborhood Association, Lance Griggs. Please come up, Lance. And as he said, his better quarter, Judy, come up, please, and stand with him. I've been standing We have the president of PID-6 here in Fort Worth, Randy Acosta. Step up, please. And the president of the North Fort Worth Alliance, Rusty Fuller. Now we've asked that each of these gentlemen say something about what this building means to me and uh, how they saw all this come together over the years. Rusty, if you will, we'll start with you, please. Well, you know, I'm, I'm so overcome that it's, this is gonna be hard for me to deliver. We live in the best big little city in the country. And the reason I can say that is because three of us went to Councilman Shingleton and Councilman Scarth and said, let's get this thing going. You know, we'd heard a lot about the fact that, that, uh, <clears throat> that there was discussions, but we said, we gotta make it real. And sure enough, the people that you've heard about today, the staff of this city, is so good and so inventive and has such great initiative that we stand here today looking at what I believe to be the most important building that has been built in the North Fort Worth, uh, North Fort Worth area. I want to thank Councilman Scarth, C Councilman Shingleton, Councilman Moon, and Councilman Espino who were all in, in <clears throat> office at the time. Councilman Flores has inherited us, and God bless him. <laughs> Unfortunately, the mayor is not here today, and she had some, she was going to be here, but she had something uh, come up that dragged her down to Austin. But without the leadership of this council, without the police department that we have, this all wouldn't be possible. So thank you very, very much, folks, and thank you, CCPD, for the money you donated to make sure that this thing happened. Welcome to the North Fort Worth area. I kind of want to echo what uh, Rusty said. You know, when we first moved out here, it was nothing but cows and open fields. And in fact, all the extra patrolling that we used to get from the police department, they used to call it Sleepy Hollow because nothing happened up here. And as I was driving home the other night, I looked over and the cranes were gone, the construction fence was gone, the mounds of dirt were gone, and it's on neat parking lot with trees and I thought later when I was thinking about it I said you know what a great city we live in because as you start to look at some of the stats and look at uh, newspapers you know Fort Worth is getting up there with the big boys the big cities growth population uh, jobs just name it but yet it's still got that small town feel where a group of citizens could sit down with city leaders and they listen to us and hear about the concerns 
And as has been stated so eloquently by our previous speakers, all that work that went into this building, it's just amazing, and I'm just very thankful to be a part of this. So thank you. Hi, I'm Lance Griggs. Uh, I'd like to echo what the guys just said. Rusty and Randy have uh, been very, very important to making all this happen. Uh, I moved out here in 1989 in Summerfields. There was nothing north of Summerfields Boulevard. I drive down I-35 now and I'm just in awe. <laughs> I couldn't believe things grew this fast. I got a lot of people to thank and, and I'm gonna try and be brief, although y'all that know me know that's very difficult for me. Uh, first, Randy and uh, Rusty, I really appreciate it. Uh, when we finally decided, we've been hearing for years, yeah, we need a sector out here, but it was mostly, yeah, we need that, we'll get to it eventually. We finally decided we just needed to get the neighborhood associations out here together and sit down with the leaders and say, okay, we've heard the promises, now let's start doing something to take the action. And it finally happened and everyone responded so admirably. It was, it was really, really special. Uh, kind of like to uh, thank uh, Councilman Shingleton. He and Councilman Scarth, I remember our first meeting when we sat down with uh, Shingleton, Scarth, and uh, Chief Halstead at the time. And they actually agreed and committed that we would work to get this sector. And I think the date we shot for was sometime in 2018. And I think we did pretty good, folks. Congratulations. Uh, but Dennis, uh, you recognized it, you and Danny both, and y'all stayed the course and you, you pushed for it and didn't let anything stop it. And that is very, very special. Uh, Carrie, uh, you've now come on. And by the way, Carrie, uh, when you're built like me, you don't need a cement block, okay? <laughs> uh, basically, Carrie, uh, you, you came on, you worked closely with us. You didn't let the issue die. You kept going, worked the funding along with the entire city council. And uh, the whole council, the CCPD, was instrumental in making this happen. City staff, uh, I just want to give you all a, a big heartfelt thank you. This, this building means a lot to me. I started pushing for this in 2005. Uh, this has been my, my windmill, if you want to take it to Don Quixote. Uh, this is a lot better looking windmill. <laughs> but uh, seeing this behind me right now just uh, makes me want to cry. <laughs> it's really good. I also want to really thank uh, Chief Halstead and his command staff when we first got going on this. He basically brought in the planners and got everything and really, really got it off the ground and that's that's good I also want to thank uh, uh, Chief Fitzgerald and the current staff they were very dogged they didn't let anything stand in their way they made it happen and I also want to thank them for putting up with about four years of badgering from me <laughs> uh, I appreciate that uh, but just to, I'd like to thank really the CCPD and the City Council in general we, did, we, we ran into some hurdles, we ran into some funding issues, and y'all resolved every one of them and in a very efficient and, and orderly manner, and I appreciate that. More than anything else, I want to thank our sworn officers for all they do for us, for what they lay on the line for us. You are appreciated, and I really thank you very much. And, and lastly, I want to thank people that don't get enough credit. Uh, I want to thank the citizens of Fort Worth and especially North Fort Worth. Finally here in the last couple of three years, we let our voices be heard. We started voting, folks, in local elections, and that makes a difference. You don't realize how important that is. Uh, congratulations, our voice is finally getting heard in city council, and things like this result when you let that happen. Uh, Really, this, this is the way representative democracy is supposed to work, and it worked, and I thank you. And you all make me very proud to call this city my home, and I thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Now, before I introduce Kevin Drake with FBI Builders, I did want to thank just a few people, quickly myself. Uh, FBI was great to work with. Uh, GFF Architects, they did a great design and they had great builds of this facility. We appreciate it very much. 
And on a city level, with the property management department, Jim Diesel and Mike Milam, thank you for not choking me out all the times that you wanted to. I appreciate it very much. They worked with us very well. And with research and planning, Becky McGibson was with us the entire way. She was a very critical part of this. And then personally, I want to thank Captain Leonard Elgin. And where's Amy Gerdes? I think Amy put in more hours than anyone else to make sure that this transition went well. So thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to introduce Kevin Drake with uh, FPI Builders. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for being here. What an amazing opportunity the good Lord blessed us with 365 days ago today. I'd like to thank uh, the workers and people in the staff, the city of Fort Worth, that without their help, none of this would be possible. Not that we had all trials and tribulations due through this 365 days when we overcame each and every one of them. I'd like to thank GFF and Kent Pontius and their staff, and also the city of Fort Worth and the Fort Worth Police Department. There's also three other gentlemen I'd like to thank <clears throat> because without them, none of this would be possible. John Crosley, our project superintendent, who was not able to be here today because I've already got him off working on something else. Steve Turner, who's here in the audience. He's our assistant superintendent on this project. And Todd Zumbar standing over here on my right. Without these guys and their tenacity, this project wouldn't have been completed on time. Thank you very much for the opportunity, and Deputy Chief Kemper, back to the podium, please. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. We're coming to the conclusion of our ceremony this morning, and at this time, we're going to have a ribbon cutting right behind us, and uh, the city manager, assistant city managers, council members, the chief, assistant chiefs, deputy chiefs in attendance, community members, you know who you are. If you will come forward now for the ribbon cutting, as soon as that is over, we're gonna open the building and ask you to join us for refreshments and tours of the building. Thank you. Yes, in there. All right, somebody's gonna get a count of all my media ready, media's ready, yes? Thank you all so much. Uh, Listen, take care of your name.